Man first inhabited the earth, he has made an impression on the natural landscape. And even prehistoric man in Ireland leaves us a record of his existence in these vast burial mounds. Throughout the ages, man's influence became more and more apparent. Today we find not only villages and roadways, but vast sprawling cities and extensive communication systems. On Trivai Batale Reitshagen, not conus on Minovus Shagaleir, a ledu at Wapa. All this detail on the landscape presents us with a problem. How do we show it on a map? The early map makers did this in an attractive but rather inaccurate way. This early map of Yall is really only half map, half picture, and while it gives a general impression of the layout of the town, detailed measurements could not be made from it, and therefore it is not a map in the true sense of the word. Let's go back to the island that we were mapping before. It's inhabited now, and as well as rivers and a forest, you can see a small village with houses, a school, and a church. This isolated farmhouse is joined to the village by a road, which crosses over the river at the bridge here. Erin Malachsha, Kurtur Lenar Novus Erin Yilon, Sigach Eni Tavachtach, a Warkal Erin Mapo. How then can you go about showing these things on your map? Well, let's start with the forest. You draw this in by just putting a few trees where the forest is. Tasimita Shuwarish. The road is put in as two parallel lines. And the river as a single line. Agus Ladin, Linawan, Onawin. And where the river goes under the bridge, we put in a bridge sign. The houses are shown as small black squares. There, we're nearly finished now. One more there. The school is a similar black square, but with the letters SCH beside it. To sponsor and skylight of Malachena, Akwid in the letter SCH, then the Hail. And the church we put on as a small black cross. Lady Medianaglish, Black Crush, Blue. So all our features in the village are now put on the completed map. To explain to anybody using the map what these signs mean, we must put on a key. There. These are all known as conventional symbols, and there are many more than I've given you here. They don't show, for instance, what the things that they represent look like, or how big they are. But once we know what the symbols mean, we can tell that at exactly the spot where they're marked on the map, the object they represent will be found. 